Hello mathematicians, how are you today? Today we're going to continue with math workshop in our uh, unit in fractions. During our last lesson, we uh, subtracted mixed numbers from mixed numbers using visual models. Today we're going to continue with this work, with our grouping, and then we're going to gradually move towards using um, the standard algorithm for uh, subtracting fractions. Our goal today is we want to subtract mixed numbers. We want to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and use uh, models to represent our thinking. Some vocabulary that we want to keep in mind are whole, uh, whole numbers, uh, fraction greater than one, which is also considered an improper fraction, mixed number, denominator, numerator, like denominators, fraction, minuend, subtrahend, and difference. The teaching point today is mathematicians subtract mixed numbers from mixed numbers by regrouping. So let's look at anchor problem number one. Anchor problem number one says 8 and 3 eighths minus 6 eighths. So as usual I do this in my notebook. You guys know I like to always use the notebook to show my thinking so it's clear. So Anchor problem number one, what I did first is I looked at the um, minuend and I took notice that my the numerator in my minuend is not enough to subtract the numerator in my subtrahend. So I have to regroup. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my whole number and I'm going to subtract one. And now that I have, it's eight minus one equals seven, I always convert my whole my whole number of one that I regrouped into a fraction. So that'd be eight over eight. And I, I got that eight over eight from the denominator that we originally started with from the expression. So now I have eight, or eight minus eight over eight is equal to seven. So I have my new whole number. I'm going to add the uh, fraction of one, which is eight over eight to my original fraction that I had in my minuend of the problem which is a 3 over 8 and now I have a fraction of 11 over 8. So now I know that 8 and 3 eighths is equal to 7 and 11 eighths and so now I think that my numerator of my uh, minuend is large enough to subtract the 6. So 7 and 11 eighths minus 6 eighths is equal to 7 and 5 eighths. I know that every time that I am subtracting a fraction with the same denominator, I keep the denominator as is, and I only subtract the numerator. Um, there are no whole numbers in this um, in the subtrahend, so I did not so I subtracted seven minus zero. So anchor problem number two looks scary, but don't be afraid. The numbers are larger, but it really doesn't make too much of a difference because you guys are so great at math. So anchor, num anchor problem number two says 14 and 2 50ths minus 6 and 43 50ths. So I'm looking at my minuend and in the numerator of the fraction of my minuend, I see that it's not enough to subtract 43 in the subtrahend. And so I have to regroup. So I did my regrouping. I converted um, my one whole my one whole into fifty over fifty. Um, four, 14 holes minus fifty over fifty is equal to thirteen whole. That's my new whole number. I'm going to add the uh, the fifty over fifty to two over fifty, which is what I had here, and now I have fifty two over fifty. Yes, it is an improper fraction, but that's okay because we will convert later. So now that I know that 14 um, and 2 over 50 is equal to 13 and 52 over 50, I can now subtract um, 6 and 43 over 50. So 13 and 52 over 50 minus 6 and 43 over 50 is equal to 7 and 9 over 50. Let's look at our error analysis. Now, as we know, an error now the purpose of an error analysis is to help us uh, see what other student what mistakes other students are making, and we are learning from other students' mistakes, so we can avoid making that same mistake. So, before when we look at an error analysis, the 
error analysis, the first thing we want to do is we want to um, solve the expression, then we want to compare our answers. So we have the expression of 12 and 5 eighths minus 8 and 7 eighths, and the student got 4 and 6 eighths. So obviously we know be because it's an error analysis, the student did this incorrectly. So let's first solve it ourselves. So I solved it myself, and after solving it, I noticed that the answer is 3 and 5 eighths. So the steps that I followed is first I took notice that the the numerator of the sub of the fraction in the subtrahend is too large is too small to subtract seven. So I have to regroup. And then once I regroup, I have I converted my uh, twelve and five eighths to eleven and thirteen eighths. So now that I can now that my numerator is large enough, I can subtract. So eleven and thirteen eighths minus eight and seven eighths is equal to three and five eighths. So the error that the student made is that he or she did not regroup to make the fraction in, in the minuend greater than the fraction in the subtrahend. So you wanna make certain that you are always regrouping when necessary in order to avoid this common mistake. So I want you to try this work on your own today. Um, and get some practice so that you can meet your goals of subtracting mixed numbers and making certain to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers using models as well as um, the standard algorithm for subtraction in fractions. So to be successful at this, I want you to grab your timer. Always set a timer, 30, 35 minutes so that you are feeling confident with yourself and you're not staying too long on one task. I want you to practice completing lessons 34 in your packet. Um, you can also pa uh, practice by logging into Zern account, lesson 34. So you have the options to do either one, either in your packet, if you have that. If not, just log into Zern. Use your tools and reach out to peers to discuss over the phone. Um, I find that that's so helpful. I, I know a lot of you have been reaching out to me and letting me know that you've been contacting each other and that's been so helpful to you. Um, also make certain that you are self-assessing your work. Think about what you did, what can you, what did you do well, and what's some things that you can work on. Afterwards, I want you to click on, in the assignment, I want you to click on the exit ticket and I want you to complete the exit ticket for that for that assignment.